Yeah. Can I get this one on? <laughs> I'm loving it. I seriously can't say enough good stuff about uh, Golf Trinidad and KCRW. Uh, he always has his finger on, on what's good and what's new. So uh, when people would ask us, you know, you mad that your stuff ain't getting played on the radio, I say, well, it depends on what kind of radio you're talking about. Originally from Holland and my man from uh, North Carolina, talking about Nicolay and for those that know little brother, Fonte Coleman. I cannot believe that somebody's calling me. I'm so serious. They linked up courtesy of OK Player, began to email each other tracks back and forth. The next thing you know, they had an album and a new project, and they called it The Foreign Exchange. Hey, I'm on stage, dog. I'm, yeah, I'm literally on stage right now. OK, we got it, cool. They did a phenomenal <laughs> debut album, having never met each other, called Connected. It came out on BBE Records. The second record that they put out independently is absolutely gorgeous, and they are owed much congratulations because they were nominated in 2010 for a Grammy for Best Urban Alternative Performance. Those are my people's The Foreign Exchange. Okay, you can blame it on me tonight. Don't Connected was more of a record that was hip hop influenced in a lot of ways. You know, I was primarily just MCing on it. I didn't really do any just full out vocal songs. Can't nobody love me like you do. All the lovers in the house, put your fingers up like this. The second album really took a lot of people by surprise and I was like, oh my God, like, this all this singing is more just, you know, an R&B record, but there was nothing on the second album that we didn't at least hint at on the first album. Just wanna thank you, baby. You can't just be just going from zero to 200 and tell your audience, okay, catch up. Like, I know I was singing on this one, but this is a bagpipe album, okay? <laughs> you gotta give people, you gotta give people something, you know what I'm saying, what they know, a little of what they know. That album, so he knows I, not, yeah, I did the bagpipe album. I designed album. the kilt. He knows yeah, you know, experience. I had it. Like... I guess it's only right that we do the song that got us here in the first place. Absolutely. They keep it, y'all, let's get into it. Let's get into it. I can't sleep at night Cause they won't see me Running from the daylight To where she keeps me The song that we're nominated for the Grammy for is um, Daykeeper. We did the track, I guess this was around um, 2006. Nick had sent me a rough loop. I just loved the melody and the hook I did just came to me instantly. We went to the studio that night and I actually wrote it right there on the spot. When the sun rises, she watches over me. We have a saying that, you know, certain songs aren't written as much as they are given. And that was just truly a, a, a song where, you know, me and Nick just sat back and after it was all over, just like, damn, where did this come from? He tells me all the secrets. He thinks nobody knows. That was Grammy nominated The Foreign Exchange. It got up on stage. Fonte was singing with special guest Yazara, and Nicolay played the keys. Questlove ended up sitting in with The Foreign Exchange and played drums, and it was just a really, really good feeling. I just looked back. I didn't even know who that was on the drum set. Y'all see, he's playing with his Afro pick, y'all. <laughs> Amazing stuff, The Foreign Exchange with uh, Questlove guesting on the drums. 